Good day, viewers. My name is Darlene Tinokoka, and I wish to welcome you to the Delwitz Electrical YouTube channel. Today, we shall be discussing on how to read SMD resistors. Now, in our previous episode, we talked about how to use color codes to read normal resistors. But SMD resistors are surface mount device resistors. These are resistors that came into place by the surface mount technologies that wanted smaller resistors. If you look at the previous resistors, they are too bogus, they are too long, and they require holes on the PCBs for you to be able to solder them together. But for the surface mount devices, SMDs, you will discover that they are very, very little. And as they are little, they can be mounted directly on your printed circuit board without necessarily having to pierce the board. So that's why this technology has is, is gradually facing off our normal resistors that requires the color code. So now we're going to be seeing how we be using this because on these on those SMDs, you see that there's codes on them. It's not like it's not the color codes that we saw previously. They are numbered. So what does this number represent and how do we calculate those resistor values when we see those numbers? So resistors, they decided to remain unique, that they will never put their values on them. So when we are talking about the normal surface mount, we are talking about the normal resistors, you see that they either use a code or they use color codes, or use numbers to represent them. So resistors are unique on their own. So we shall be seeing how to know the resistance value of those resistors. For a three-digit SMD resistor code, the resistance value will be as follows. The first digit is the first number of the resistor value. The second digit is the second number of the resistor value. While the third is the multiplier, it shows how many zeros should be added to the first two digits, or you just multiply by 10 raised to the power of the value. You should note that the resistance value below 10 ohms do not have a multiplier. And resistance having a letter R signifies a decimal point. So let's check this out on our screen. If we have a resistor with 300, if we have a resistor 300 written on it, it simply means that the first, the first digit is 3, the second digit is 0, which is 30. It will now become 30 times 10 raised to the power 0, which is equal to 10 raised to the power 0 is 1, which is 30 times 1, 30 ohms. So anytime you see 300 written on any resi SMD resistor, just know that it is 30 ohms resistor. If you see a resistor written as 571, it means that the first digit is 5, the second digit is 7, which is 57 times 10 raised to power 1, which is 10. So it will become 57 times 10, which is 570 ohms. If we see a resistor written as 252, it means first digit is 2, second digit is 5, times 10 raised to power 2, which is equal to 25 times 100, which is equal to 25, 2.5 kilo ohms. If we see, if we see 5R3, I told you earlier that anywhere you see R, it, it signifies a decimal point. So when you see 5R3, it means that it's 5.3 ohms. So because these sources are just trying to be um, unique on their own. So anytime I say, give me 5R3 resistor, it means that I'm saying, give me 5.3 ohms resistor. Simple as that. So how do we read a four-digit SMD resistor? For a four-digit SMD resistor, it is similar to a three-digit. The only difference is that the first three digits signifies the significant figures of the resistance value, while the fourth digit is the multiplier. Also, it should be noted that resistance below 10 ohms do not have multiplier. Why R in any of the resistors signifies a decimal point. So let's take an example. If we have 1850, 
First significant figure is 1, second is 8, third is 5, times 10 raised to the power 0, which is equal to 185 times 1, which is equal to 185 ohms. So 185 is automatically the resistance value of any resistor you see with 1850 on this label. For 2054, we have 205 times 10 raised to the power 4, which is equal to 205 times 10,000, which is equal to 2.05 mega ohms. Now, when you have 30 R5, I said anyway, you see R, it signifies a decimal point. So it will become 30.5 ohms. So our surface mount resistor is usually either three or four values, four digit value. So you can see that it's very easy to know the resistance value of a surface mount with device resistor. Then the other one that is very, very complicated is the EIA96SMD resistor code. EIA means the Electronic Industry Alliance. This marking is a new method which appears on about 1% of all SMD resistors. It consists of just three character codes. So it's a new technology. Most resistors have, most resistor manufacturers have, have not really adopted these marking screen boards. I'm just trying to explain this to you so that in case you see this in a resistor you buy tomorrow, you'll be able to read such. The first two digits represent a code that indicates a resistance value with three significant digits. This is also shown in table one below. So I, you, I will show you the table and you will know how to relay them. The third is a later code which provides the multiplying factor as is also shown in table two. So these two tables will be, will be shown to you by your pursuit. So, so you'll be able to see how to go about it. So we have, if you see a, va a, a value called 01A on a resistor, 01A on a resistor, you see that A, the only, for the former one we talked about, it's only R that signifies decimal point. So when you see another value, just know that this is an EIA96 SMD resistor code. So when you have 01A, code 01 on the table is 100. And multiplier A is 1. That means you have 100 times 1 is equal to 100 ohms. So when you see 01A on the resistor, automatically know that it's 100 ohms resistor. That is clear. Now, if you see 92Z on the resistor, the first two significant figures code 92. Code 92 on the table is 887. Code Z on the table 2 is 0 0.001. So if you say 887 times 0 0.001, you have 0 0.887 ohms, plus or minus 1%. Do you understand? So now, the usage of a letter prevents the confusion with other marking systems, but attention must be paid to the letter R. For resistance with tolerance value other than 1%, different letter table exist where the letter R is also used. So don't confuse yourself with the letter R. Whenever you see the letter R, just know that it's the first SMD that is used. But when you see other alphabets, know that it's EIA96 SMD resistor code. So I believe I've been able to educate you perfectly on how to know the resistance value of SMD resistors both the regular SMD and the EIA-96 SMD resistors. So when you see all these resistors, be rest assured that you'll be able to get the resistance value. So please, if this video has been very educative to you, kindly click the like button and also click the subscription button and turn off the notification icon so that when subsequent videos are being posted, you'll be able to get notified. Thank you very much for coming to our channel. <music>